summer's here, the kids are out of school. What are they eating? Ice cream, popsicles. Well, they need to be eating something very healthy. And Dr. Sarah Peterson is here. You're with the University of Utah. You have a clinic in South Jordan. Tell us how to get kids to eat right in the summer because it's really hard. It is really hard. I have two kids of my own. They're three and six. And so any given day, they're not going to necessarily do what we want them to. But um, there are some things that we have seen that help kids to remember how to eat well. And one of those is the 5210 program. Which is? It is this little mnemonic that kids can use to help remember things to do in a day to help them to be healthy. So the five stands for five fruits and vegetables a day. The two is um, less than two hours of screen time. So that includes computers and video games and TV. Uh, the one is more than one hour physical activity every day. And then the zero, which is the, probably the hardest, is, is trying to eat no sweetened beverages Ooh. or drink no sweetened beverages. <laughs> and so, I think I yeah. looked at some of your tips and I think it's parents that are the example in all of those mm -hmm. things, you know, because mm -hmm. the kids do what the parents do. Mm -hmm. And you say, put it out there, put the healthy yeah. food out on the counter where they can see it. Yeah, put it on show, show it. So get a really cute bowl. Get your oranges and your apples, have them out on the counter. It's a good visual reminder for, for us, too, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it helps the kids, you know, when they see it, they'll want to eat it. I love um, this idea, too, because when I was reading um, Nisha's one daughter does not eat vegetables, mm -hmm. and you say that maybe you should have the kids, we are going to have vegetables, so mm -hmm. let them choose mm -hmm. a vegetable that you're going to have. So it's, yeah. it would be up to her, and then she has more of a part in it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just, in our house, we just have frozen corn and peas in the freezer and I let my kids I say what do you want tonight do you want peas do you want corn and my six-year-old loves that he gets to pick mm -hmm. yeah he usually always picks corn but um, <laughs> do you know what helps at my house too is the little tiny packaging if uh -huh. the carrots uh -huh. are in a little package or something like that yep. they're more likely to grab those rather than wait to have them cut up you know a snack in the cupboards easier then right but if they're ready to go then they grab them exactly grab and go snacks and you can make them you can cut mm -hmm. up little celery sticks you can get the little baby carrots and just have the little baggies have them in your fridge ready to just grab and go so that you know rather than grabbing the easy snack that's in the pantry they can just grab some easy vegetables I'm gonna grab this you guys have come up with a really cute little cookbook and it's a coloring book and tell us about this about getting kids to eat healthy and seeing it here this Where can is we just find this this is oh, so you can go to our website um, it's healthcare.utah.edu mm -hmm. slash South Jordan okay or you can call um, 801 213 98 mm -hmm. or 9500 sorry um, and this is just a little coloring book that the kids can color and it also has some cute little recipes easy recipes that are healthy that kids can make with their parents and kind of get excited about being healthy and it also shows kids being active in there summer's a great time to establish good habits because you have them at home more so you can establish those habits and carry them through the school year. Well, and I've already heard the term, I'm bored. I've already heard uh -oh. it. We've been mm -hmm. out of school like, what, three or four <laughs> yeah. days? Three or four days. And so we automatically go to the TV or we mm -hmm. go to the computer. Mm -hmm. And I, the other day, said, um, that's not good for your brain. You know, mm -hmm. we need to get outside. Who knows what I'm saying? We need to get mm -hmm. outside and, and exercise. So when I put my five-year-old to bed that night, she said, um, do you think I don't have a good brain? I watched TV oh. for two Ooh. hours. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have those discussions like, this is what's good for you and this yeah. we can do for not as long right. as you'd like to sometimes. Well, and that really sinks in with kids. It's amazing what they will remember. It's amazing that they will register, this is healthy for me. And when you educate them that it is good for them or, or that too much screen time is maybe not as good for them, it'll stick with them more than you think. You know, don't badger them, but you know, help them to learn that it's healthy and they'll maybe be more willing to do it. Thanks, Dr. Sarah yeah. Peterson. We're gonna link you so you can get that coloring book on our website. Take right. care, thanks. Thank more you. tips from Fresh Market when we come back.